Rightly or wrongly, Timothy Leary has become the symbol of everybody who is interested in experimenting with neurochemical reprogramming. In this chapter, I want to describe my first meetings with Dr. Leary and give some picture of the man behind the symbol. I met him after I had experimented with peyote and given up the experimentation as too advanced for my capacities at the time. I went to see him as a clinician who knew more about such chemicals than I did. By mid-1964, the acid scandal had been in every publication from Bangor to Walla Walla, and Timothy Leary had replaced Aldous Huxley as the prophet of the drug revolution. Hey, greetings. So we've been talking a lot about these new uh, projects we've been working on, so we're finally announcing one. What are we up to, Matt? We're producing an audiobook. Robert Anton Wilson's The Starseed Signals. This is where he really gets in depth on Timothy Leary's psychological theories and his methodology for reprogramming, metaprogramming human nervous systems with LSD and other metaprogramming substances. Yeah, yeah, totally. So we're, we're hoping to have this out by summer, so we'll keep you in, in the loop and uh, just keep checking back with us and you should be able to hear this book very soon. Yeah, thank you guys.